All right, start of a new video here, new Tesla road trip. We are in my 2021 Tesla Model S, and we are gonna be going here from San Diego all the way up to Pleasanton, California, driving this beautiful, beautiful EV car here. So for any of you interested in a Tesla, this will be a great video for you to watch a simple road trip from San Diego all the way up to the Bay Area of uh, Pleasanton, California. It should take us, with charging, about eight and a half hours, so we're hoping to get home about 5.30. Today it's morning, we just got off our Disney cruise and very excited to get our road trip started. So I'll be driving the majority of the way, my wife will probably help out a little bit, and we're gonna be taking off right now. So follow us along for this great road trip. to the supercharger in San Fernando. We'll get a peek of uh, what this looks like here. Never been to this supercharger before, so um, there it is. I'm gonna spin around, let's see here. Now your destination is on the left. Okay, I'm pulling right here. There's really nothing figure it out. I saw um, a couple options down the road, so. All right. Gotta love these cameras. Makes it so easy to back your Tesla in. All right, now we did get here with a really low battery. We've only got 26 miles on the battery right now, so. This charge may take a little longer than usual. Uh, we were gonna go to a charger a few miles back, but um, it's, it rerouted us at the last second after we got off the highway, saying that they are rerouting us to a less busy charger. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started here. We have 26 miles, we're gonna get the charge going. Family's gonna stretch their legs and use the restroom. So let's get this rolling. Just got it plugged in. We're only getting about 154 uh, kilowatts. Um, now I do need to kind of reset our destination in the computer. Um, so it understands the entire route we're going. And it will give us, yeah, see now it's changed it to 40 minutes of charging. And then it looks like we'll have one more uh, charge in Kalinga. Looks like Kalinga here. There you go, Kalinga. And at 143, so quite a way. So the next uh, route is gonna be a little bit higher, but it is jumping up 180 now kilowatts. Gonna keep going, gonna keep going 40 minutes. That time should come down a little bit once uh, this gets to 250. So I'll show you the uh, summary at the end here in a sec. For you and in about 40 minutes for me, it does say high usage supercharge station, charging limit set to 80% adjusted. Uh, I can adjust the limit if I want to. So let's see here, um, charging, hold on. Okay, I had to move my door, someone was backing in. Okay, so see, it does have it at 80%. I'm gonna go ahead and move this up for the road trip. There we go. And let's see what it ends up doing here um, at the full charge. We are at 209 right now, so we'll see how well it does. But it does now say 35 minutes. It's only been about a minute. Still charging here, but uh, just taking a look at the next uh, charging station here. You can see in Kalinga, uh, California, there's a supercharger. Uh, so let's see, it's 250 kilowatt max, 80 stalls, my goodness, huge amount. Uh, let's see what our food options are there because we probably will have lunch at the next charger. Uh, let's see, 
Ranch Kitchen Shell, Harris Ranch Express Barbecue, uh, Taco Bell, kids like that. We also have McDonald's, Carl's Jr., Baja Fresh, and oh, it looks like Subway that's kind of around there. So we'll have to kind of see uh, where we want to go there. But looks like there's plenty of options for um, for some lunch for us. So it looks like we got about 30 more minutes on the charge. Uh, charging has slowed down to about 164 kilowatts. Uh, so I'm gonna get out and stretch a little bit more and uh, we'll be all set and ready to go. This is the San Fernando uh, supercharger here, uh, just Northern uh, LA, uh, right above Burbank. Uh, so you can see there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12, uh, superchargers here. And, you know, it's kind of interesting. We're in the kind of city rural area, but there's not a lot of public options around here. Um, there are within, uh, a little bit of a longer walking distance. So about, uh, three quarters of a mile or half mile walking distance uh, there's McDonald's but the one thing that's really difficult is the fact there's no bathroom around here uh, most people when they're charging your Tesla first thing you got to do is use the restroom most people will drive a good two to uh, two and a half hours in between charging almost three hours so uh, usually a bathroom is in order um, and uh, this made it pretty difficult so my wife had to walk about half a mile to use the restroom um, and so overall, just something to keep in mind, uh, with this particular, uh, supercharger. So you can see the cars rolling in and out. Um, gosh, I really do like that, that new red there. Uh, what do you guys think of the red? I think the red's beautiful. The new red kind of is, is beautiful. Uh, much better than the older red. So I like it a lot. Um, overall, I also still really like the design of the Model S. Um, I think it's gorgeous, um, looks better than I think the, the three and the, the Y, but you know, we have the new three now. I don't see any of the new threes here in the parking lot, <clears throat> but it'd be, uh, it'd be kind of cool to see one of the new threes, uh, at some point, but overall, I still really like the yes quite a bit. I think it's just gorgeous. All right. Just got done here in the San Fernando uh, charging station. So slightly more expensive than normal, but, uh, we got our battery up to 304 miles. Uh, we're going to be cutting it slightly short here, but over $32, uh, for this charger here. So, uh, we'll see what the next one is. So we have one more charge before we get home, hopefully, uh, depending on conditions. So we'll see, but let's get back on the highway. Here we go. bit of a zoo here but we just stopped at the Harris Ranch supercharger I think there's something like 82 chargers here some ridiculous thing uh, there's a number of chargers over there which was uh, what they had when when they first opened up and then they added all of these recently which um, looks like these aren't online yet but most of all these are this side that side and there's even some over there. So a significant amount of chargers. This is actually the biggest uh, supercharging uh, station I've ever been to. Now, one thing that's uh, interesting is across the main highway, which is, you can see the main highway up here, over there about uh, 0.4 miles are um, a number of great restaurants like you know Taco Bell, Carl's Jr., things like that. However, if you go into Harris Ranch here, you can see the building right over there. They make uh, amazing fresh barbecue and um, they'll make you a sandwich, uh, tri-tip sandwich. It's amazing. Now, 
there's always a long line for the really, really fresh stuff. A lot of times I'll get the cold sandwich they have in the fridge and you get right through the line really quickly. And cold sandwich is awesome. I mean, I liked it a lot. Um, one of these times I'll be able to try one of the hot sandwiches, but it's really good. So this place has really progressed uh, quite a bit. It's gotten a lot bigger. Looks like they're kind of setting up some grass and picnic tables over here as well. So um, great place to uh, charge if you see the Harris Ranch uh, Supercharger pull up on your screen. Um, wanting you to charge there. Uh, definitely look forward to doing it. It's a great place to uh, charge your car, get some food, stretch your legs, stretch your back, all those great things. So anyways, we're uh, about 15 to 20 minutes until we're done charging. So uh, we're going to get the party back on the road. All right, about finished here at Harris Ranch. Uh, charging is slowing down a bit. Uh, 271 miles on the battery. Let's see what our costs were here. Yeah, only $21.73 for this charge. So pretty darn good. Um, this will get us all the way home, so no problem at all. So we're gonna get this started and uh, head on home. We really want to see our dog, so we're excited about that. All right, just got back here, pulled the car in, backed it in. Uh, gonna get it charged up tonight, but what a great road trip. So as uh, for those of you that may just be kind of joining us, uh, we drove from Pleasanton, California, all the way down to San Diego. And that's in our first video. You'll see that here uh, at the end of the video in the tile card. And then we drove from San Diego all the way up to Pleasanton, California. Got home a bit earlier than we thought. So we actually got home around uh, 4.30, 4.45 now or so. Uh, quickly unpacked the car, went in, saw the dog. Everyone's really, really happy. So the car just did an amazing job. I'm going to really miss this car. This car is a leased car and it's going to get returned in June. And uh, it is now April. So we're going to figure out what we're going to do next as far as an electric car. Uh, but the car just did really, really good on the road trip. I made sure, sure that all the uh, air pressure was up to par and filled correctly. Uh, the family fits really nice in the car. It's a very, very comfortable car. Uh, the navigation, uh, autopilot on the freeways and full self-driving on, on the side roads was, was just remarkable. Really, really, really good. No complaints at all. One of the best road trip cars I've ever had. Uh, even better road trip car than I would say uh, internal combustion engine cars as well. So I just really enjoy taking this car on a road trip. Now, driving down, uh, we spent about $67 on Tesla supercharging, stopping twice from Pleasanton, California, about 468 miles, I think. And then uh, on the way back, it actually ended up being a little bit cheaper. I think that's just because the rates uh, were a little bit lower. So we only spent about uh, $58 actually coming back, so considerably cheaper. Again, two superchargers, uh, so no big deal at all. You can see a bit of bugs uh, on the front of the car. That's expected, uh, as you would see in any road trip, uh, but I'm going to get those washed up and uh, cleared off the car. I have a special spray that will help me do that and then uh, make sure the car is all looking really good. So overall, you can see the car did great, fantastic job. So those of you that have not, have not uh, subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and uh, please give a thumbs up. Really appreciate it and uh, look forward to uh, seeing you guys next time. Have a great week and uh, we'll be posting some more videos. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.